I thought I'd show you, Brenda, um, what the worm bin actually looks like. This is my worm bin one, which was the first one that David ever built for me. And as you can see, it's just two Rubbermaid tubs, one within the other. Uh, the top one has some holes drilled into the bottom of it. And I have a couple bricks in the bottom to kind of create a gap between the bin on top and the bin on the bottom uh, so the water can accumulate. You know, as you put organic matter in there that contains water, all of that water will drip into the bottom and you have to empty it from time to time. Uh, now this other bin, this is my fancier bin, uh, has a little stand and a spigot on the bottom of it so that you can drain the worm tea off of it. And this is worm tea. It is basically just, um, uh, it's fertilizer mixed with water. Uh, it's what, it's the byproduct of all this breakdown of organic matter. <clears throat> These are the sifters that David built for me. Uh, one is finer than the other. One is for taking out worms and the other one is for taking out eggs. I haven't really used it for taking out eggs yet. Usually what I've been doing is, especially with this first bin, is I pick out all the um, adult worms and put them in the new bin. This is the new bin that I'm starting. Um, it's a little bit nasty at the moment because I haven't covered it up with anything. I just put some new cardboard in there. But all of the cardboard that you get <clears throat> can be used as bedding. I uh, basically just wet it up. I uh, tear, tear it up and wet it and then squeeze it out like you would a sponge and then put it in the bin and they eat that too. Um, but I just thought I'd dig up a few worms and show you what they look like. Um, they have a tendency to um, burrow when the light is on, so it might take me a second or two to find some, but they don't like light. And these worms are a particular species of worms that's only used for composting. Um, they also use them for bait, for like um, fishing for trout, particularly, from what I've read. Uh, here's another one. These are pretty much fairly young, especially the one on the right. They, they get about about four inches long. This is where all the women start getting all skeeved out because, oh, God forbid, I'm handling worms. They don't have beady little eyes or wings or legs, or, and they don't bite. In fact, they don't really like to be handled because your skin is very rough to their skin. Um, you have to be careful about oxygen with these. You have to make sure that you I rake this bin uh, several times a week to keep it aerated. They do a lot of aeration themselves, but the bin can't be too dry and it can't be too wet. Most importantly is it can't be too wet uh, because otherwise they drown. Um, they exchange oxygen through their skin, so if, the, if it's uh, sloppy and wet, they'll, they'll basically suffocate. And you don't want them to get too dry, of course. This is just like, it, it just feels like damp earth. Uh, it's not soaking wet, but this is basically worm castings, which is worm poop. And it does not smell at all. It just smells like earth. It smells like the ground outside. And um, it is one of the best fertilizers that you can put in your garden. Here you can see another one. Um, they just wiggle around and do their thing and you basically leave it alone. Uh, you just got to be careful not to overfeed them. Uh, usually I'll put new scraps in the corner. Uh, I'll dig a little hole in the corner, put a whole bunch of scraps in there, cover it with existing uh, uh, castings and let that degrade. Um, for a family of four like us, it's really good to have more than one bin because, especially if, if you eat a lot of vegetables and fruits, uh, we put all of our peels in there, you know, the tops of celery. Uh, the only thing you can't put in here is any kind of meat or fats because they grow, get rancid and, you know, you don't want to put them in, in any kind of composting bin. It has to be anything, seeds, you know, like pumpkin seeds, the innards from pumpkins. Um, it all works. And, uh, like I said, they're pretty easy to take care of. Uh, you just got to be careful in the summer. I always usually put a little handful of dirt or cardboard over the scraps during the summer because otherwise you get all sorts of little gnats and things like that. Uh, if you cover up the scraps, you won't get that. Uh, and they just do their thing. And it's great to teach the kids about the earth. And like I said, it's great free fertilizer for your garden and your flower beds. And that's about it. Um, be happy to teach anybody how to do this. It's 
very easy and I think these bins cost at the dollar store all of about maybe $10 each total. <laughs>